Welcome to the Glen Tavern Inn. Let's go take a look around. Right now we're standing outside of room 308. This is actually now our, our penthouse, it's our bridal suite because we do have a lot of weddings here. Uh, on average we have at least 40 a year. But what this room actually is, is Harry Houdini's room. Let's go inside and take a look. So here we are in Harry Houdini's room, and as the story goes, the train here, the Fillmore Western Railway, had actually broken down, and Harry Houdini needed a place to stay, and so the Glen Tavern Inn was the only hotel in town. And so when Harry Houdini actually came to stay here at the hotel, he had said that he needed the biggest space available so that he could store all of his props. And so the hotel staff accommodated that, and they brought a bed up here, <laughs> up to the attic space. And he came up, and he actually stayed here for a few weeks with all of his props. Throughout history, Santa Paula eventually became Little Hollywood. A lot of silent films and western films were filmed here. And one notable character throughout the time he was known as Calvin, Calvin the Cowboy. He was a real cowboy that came out and wanted to be part of the film industry. And in doing so, he actually stayed here at the hotel. He's the infamous ghost of room 307. During the 20s, the third floor is a wide open space. It housed a brothel and a speakeasy throughout Prohibition. There is illegal drinking, gambling, and prostitution. On Calvin's last night of his stay here, he decided to swindle the owner out of all of his money. And as the story goes, both of them had a full house. One queens, one had kings, and they both had two aces. The next thing you know, the last card was flipped over, and that was the fifth ace. That was the end of Calvin.